Mm -hmm. I started without you because I was hungry. Hangry. I was getting hangry. <laughs> Don't talk about me having stuffing and my turkey and my yams. Food doesn't have a time. Least of all, a Thanksgiving time. I don't believe in them damn Thanksgiving anyway, so. Food is food. Yams. Yes. They are out of a can. And yes, they're good. But I baked and then fried. That's what I said. Turkey. And my box stuffing. Hmm. But you know what I am thankful for? Food. Thank you, Miss Jerry. So you know I'm still on a roll. Um, get my house clean, clean. Like, you know, mother approved clean. That's mm. good. I ain't complaining. Yep, many days I didn't have nothing. So I ain't complaining, y'all. I ain't complaining about nothing. I gotta buy more seasoning. You know, you're just used to what you have, and then when you meet somebody, my old roommate, uh, you learn about other stuff and try it so I'm going to be venturing out and buying more herbs next month well seasoning stuff Herbs, I gotta tell you my mom probably wouldn't need this <laughs> He'd be like, it's so bland. Well, for those of you who don't know, I used to live in a 23-foot trailer for a year and a half. There's no room for seasonings, okay? And then living in other people's houses, there's no room for seasonings. So in that process, I have really gotten out of the habit of cooking So now I gotta get back in the lesson of cooking. So for that I'm glad to have Road to Good Cooking with Jay. AKA Chat and Chew with Miss J. Mrs. J. Mm-hmm. I'm learning from her. Good chef. I made the mistake of asking her, do you remember the, the Chinese place I bought the food from? Uh, have you heard of that? She says, Tasha, I don't go out to eat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought maybe once in a while she goes out to eat. I mean, she's she's lived here a long time. I just, you know, got here and trying new stuff, you know, so... <laughs> I didn't mean to be, you know, like insulting or nothing. I hope you didn't take it that way. You're welcome. Mm. 
I did put more, uh, a little pinch or two of brown sugar and molasses in my hand yams. And you people with time, attaching a time limit to food is so funny. I eat cold or hot cereal in the morning or at night. I eat cold or hot pizza in the morning or at night, doesn't matter, with vanilla ice cream. We're all weird about something. And we're only weird because you well, my mom didn't teach us to eat stuff like that for breakfast either. We eat breakfast for breakfast. When you grow up and you're starving, you learn to eat anything at any time. Food don't have a time. People give it a time. <laughs> Which is crazy. So, I don't, I don't necessarily believe in that. If you feel like having, I don't know, ketchup and cottage cheese, then you should have ketchup and cottage cheese. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not the one that can sit there and go, ew, I'm like, let me taste, maybe I might, I might like it, I don't know. You can never say what you don't like until you try it. And even then, sometimes you gotta try it twice. I'm looking at the table, my jewelry's still on it, people still buying, thank God. Um, a man and his four kids needs clothes and food. Somebody help me eat and give me a place to live. Oh, for six years when I didn't have any either. <clears throat> <coughs> Miss <laughs> Jerry, I mean, they have a huge, huge turkey. Now she said she bring her kids is bringing something over. I'm thinking it's a plate. Cool. Her daughter shows up with this big old thing, and I'm like, where you go with that? She says here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> treat every now and then instead of just water oh nice and crunchy yeah so I ate nine eight eight or nine bags of mm, yummy turkey in the freezer <laughs> and y'all know I'm crazy it was still a little bit frozen but I'm not taking no chances. I left that you-know-what in the oven all night and all day. On 250. It's good. It's not as flavorful as yours might be, but it's neat and it's good. You know, I don't want to break no dentures now. That would not be fun. And you know the strange thing? You know how some, probably you too, you can eat some a lot more of some foods than other foods? Man, I could sit and eat that whole box of stuffing in <laughs> one meal. <laughs> I could. Need to make that a challenge, huh? A whole box of stuffing. Mm, mm, mm. 
So yeah, I did put all 10 of my seasonings on there. A lot. Because you know I love burnt stuff, so. Even after it had been in there for, I don't know, at least 18, 20 hours. I ain't taking no chances, so don't sit there and go ooh and ah. I ain't taking no chances of having to get rid of any food or get any bug. That, you know what, can just be burnt. But it's gonna be done. And sure enough, it came out nice, dark brown, not burnt, on the top. So I just peeled off all that skin that I probably put way too much poultry seasoning on. And for the first time, I threw away skin. And it was so good. Yes, it had this much juice on it. In your pan, mmm, just right. <sighs> okay, it came out so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> but again, even if it was burnt, honey, better burnt than not done. And I thought, oh well, if it's burnt, I make gravy. <laughs> Right? Mm. Okay, you guys. Get out of here. Go eat something good. Know that I love you and I appreciate you for having mostly all my dinner with me. I hope you have something yummy, good to, uh, yummy to eat as well. In the meantime and in between time, don't forget to be good to yourself first. And know that I love you. Go have an awesome, awesome evening. Bye, 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 bye. Mwah.